Hey, hi guys. Uh, today we are going to talk about weight scale fluctuations. So uh, you might have uh, tried weighing yourself on a weighing scale multiple times uh, a day, multiple times a week, every day morning, maybe a lot of times in a day. So, but you must have noticed that uh, the weight changes a lot. Uh, sometimes from morning to evening, uh, 2 to 2.5 kgs, uh, it changes to up to 3 kgs, sometimes even more. Uh, last morning you had, uh, let's say 60 kgs, today you are at 60.8 or 61. So, what are the reasons behind weight, you know, weighing scale fluctuations? Uh, Okay, so first of all, for morning to evening weight changes, the, uh, if you are at 60 kgs in the morning and in the evening you have 63 kgs, um, the major reason is the food that you ate, it's still inside you, the water that you uh, had, uh, it's still inside you. So the major reasons for uh, that weight fluctuation is the food and water and sometimes people uh, measure themselves in the morning uh, with uh, minimal clothes. And in evening they measure themselves with the shoes and their maybe uh, office clothes or something like that. So they sometimes forget that they have clothes now on them. So they, the clothes also have a weight of around 1 or 1.5 or maybe 2 kgs including the shoes. So that is also a reason for fluctuation from morning to evening. Okay, so coming back, uh, coming to the fluctuation from day to day, I weighed myself uh, in the morning today, it was 60 and tomorrow morning it is 61, so what's the reason behind it? Okay, so what you ate last night is still there, what you ate last night is still in your stomach. So, okay, so someone tells me, okay, I went to washroom, uh, the stool passed out. Uh, now I am fresh enough, now I should be 60 kgs, not necessarily. Uh, so, so, after getting fresh, even after getting fresh, something undigested might stay in your body, which would pass out maybe 4-5 or five hours later or maybe 10 hours later. Uh, you don't know, something undigested might stay in your body. So the main reason for uh, morning mm, weight changes is that what you ate last night is still there and if you uh, already got it fresh then maybe you ate different quantities of food last night. So let's say last night you had one glass of milk uh, and uh, the night before that you had two glasses of milk. So in the morning your weight would depend on what you ate last night and what uh, the amount of water that you had last night. Now, different water quantities before sleeping and while sleeping. So before sleeping, you, let's say, uh, last night you had uh, 500 ml of water and the night before that you had uh, 200 ml of water. So it will cause a weight fluctuation in the morning, even after you get fresh. Now, different stool pass outs. So, uh, uh, maybe last morning, yesterday morning, your stool passed out completely. But today morning, uh, maybe it didn't pass out completely. It happens. Uh, people might not realize, but it happens. So, that could also be a reason for weight fluctuation even after you are, even after you are fresh. Sweat and breathing, uh, most of the people ignore this. When you are breathing, your body uses some water. When you are sweating, your body uses some water. So maybe uh, two days back, you went, to, uh, went for the workout in the morning and yesterday you went for the workout in the evening. So when you were sleeping, your breathing was a bit faster uh, your breathing frequency was more last night because you just came after a workout and your body was sweating a bit more. So today morning your body will have lesser water weight because it went out in the breathing in uh, sweat more than the day before yesterday. 
so sweat and breathing is something that you <clears throat> usually cannot measure and uh, people ignore it but it causes uh, impact on your uh, weight on the scale so maybe uh, if it is summer time while you are sleeping at night you have a lot of sweat so the, in the morning you will have definitely weigh lesser uh, as compared to a night when it was cold and you did not sweat as much okay so you cannot be specific to 10 or 50 grams uh, on your body weight because it's your body you do not know what it is doing inside uh, you cannot be so specific that uh, i want an accuracy of uh, 10 or 50 grams on my weight uh, compared to the uh, weight i had yesterday it's your body you cannot be so specific on it if everything same you ate the same amount of food last night you uh, you had the same amount of water uh, last night uh, then you can get an accuracy of 100 to 200 300 grams on the next day if everything was same the temperature while sleeping you had the same amount of water while sleeping so you wake up sometimes while you're sleeping to just to drink water so that amount of water was same and then the stool passed out completely both days then you can get an accuracy of 100 to 200 300 grams on the on those two days now the solution that uh, i suggest for uh, saving yourself from these fluctuations is that you measure yourself once a week in similar conditions or bi-weekly so maybe you can weigh yourself once in, a, once in 7 days or maybe once in 14 days and if you still want to measure yourself uh, every day then take the average weight of the whole week so if you uh, weighed 60 kgs today and 61 kgs uh, tomorrow then the average weight for the two days would be 60.5 61 plus 60 divided by 2 so take the average weight if you still want to measure yourself every day so that those are uh, more or less uh, the explanations for why your weight uh, fluctuates uh, so much on the scale if you have any questions uh, please comment down below if you like the video please like it if you like the channel please subscribe i'll see you in the next video bye bye